Okay, so in this problem, we've got a lot of information here about uh, the survey, about smoking and asthma, and then they're explaining here what we're doing. I'm going to focus in, us in on this line right here, the hypothetical uh, 1,000 two-way table, because you, you maybe you never heard of that before. And they're explaining it here. They're saying place the value of 1,000 as a marginal frequency in the cell representing the total population. Marginal frequencies are here. Joint frequencies are here. And the marginal frequencies are on the margins of your table. And those, you can see that they're representing different kinds of totals here. So we're saying the absolute total of everything on a hypothetical 1,000 table is just 1,000. So that's the number that goes here. And that's really all we're doing so far. Now you can go back and fill in information, but these prompts down here take us through it. Okay, so you get six and seven. We're basically filling out this table. So let's do that. The, the first one says the probability that a randomly selected high school student has asthma is 0.193. Now, we're dealing with 1,000 students. So you do 0.193 times 1,000. And in these hypothetical tables, we're assuming a population of 1,000 and seeing what would happen. That will give you 193 students with asthma. So if you go up here, students with asthma is our first row. Here it is. And the total is going here. So we're going to put those 193 students in that spot. And now you can see that we can start to figure out some missing pieces. 193 plus something has to be 1,000. So you can figure that out by subtracting 193 from 1,000, and that's 807. I don't like that 8. Let me fix it. Yucky. 807. There we go. Now, next one. Probability that a randomly selected student has at least one household member who smokes is 0.421. So again, this is on a scale of 1,000. So you multiply that up by 1,000, which is 421. And where is that going to go? Okay. Look at this column right here, specifically talking about at least one household smoker. So this is that column right there. It's referring to everything there. But we are specifically interested, this is a total, right? And that's this total row referring to this column, it's got to be at this spot right here. So I'm going to just say that's 421. And again, this number has to be 579 because 579 plus 421 has to equal 1,000. So we're filling out this table as we go. Then they give us one more clue. We've got A, we've got B. Let's talk about C. C says that the probably that a randomly selected student has at least one household member who smokes and has asthma. Okay. End. That's an intersection. I wanted to point that out for you. So you're saying two things. They have asthma and at least one household member. And that's probability is 0.12, so it's going to be 120. Again, for the same reason, multiply by 1,000, that's 120. So that 120, think about what's going to go, it has to go here. It's the joint intersection of this and this, having asthma and at least one household member spokes. The intersection is right here. It's literally an, an intersection. That's what we call the end statement, an intersection. And then we can fill in some missing pieces here. 73 plus 120 has to equal 193. But then you can go down the column as well. 73 plus 506 right, is 579 here. right? So that works out. And then this is 301. So now we have filled out our table based on these probabilities. 6 and 7 are done. And let's see what else. So there's another question eight, which I'll start in the next video.